Hi there, and I'm going to show you in this tutorial uh, how uh, to cross flash your uh, Alcatel uh, Evolve uh, 2 from uh, or, uh, from T-Mobile USA to Metro PCS uh, firmware. You can use the same option if the phone uh, software is damaged or it is not starting anymore. So we have here one uh, phone uh, from T-Mobile um, USA locked. I'm going uh, to power it off. And uh, I'm going uh, to start right now uh, the OT Smart software. And uh, I'm going uh, to select uh, from the list uh, OT 4037T. I'm going to select the right factory firmware and I'm going uh, to choose the Metro PCS firmware. The firmware has been loaded. Now I'm going to press connect. And uh, I'm going to insert uh, the USB cable uh, in the power of phone. If all is okay, uh, the phone uh, should uh, be detected, as you can see. Flashing process started, it uh, will only last a few minutes. You can observe here the original provider ID, which is uh, T-Mobile USA. Writing process started. Process is almost completed. As you can see, it goes pretty fast over the USB. Flashing process ended, only 3 minutes to cross flash this phone. I'm going to remove the USB cable and power it on.
as you can see the new software from the Metro PCS so the phone got successfully freshed with Metro PCS firmware now it's going to take a while uh, for the phone to start since uh, it needs uh, to do some uh, initialization of the system Don't forget uh, that there is also possible to read the pattern lock from the phone. It means that uh, if the user forgot the pattern lock he used or uh, something, you can use this feature to recover it without any data lost, without uh, resetting uh, the phone. So have fun using that also. Return back uh, to the phone. It's still uh, initialized. It completed. The phone is going to start right now. As you can see, everything is okay. Phone is running normally. So this is it, enjoy using our products, bye bye.